If your campus placements are coming and you feel that your DSA prep is not ready, don't worry, you are not alone. We all know how important DSA is. In fact, 90% of people fail in interviews because of their DSA skills not being up to the mark. In fact, every second student is panicking right now because they are opening their old notes and they are feeling like they have forgotten 30, 40, 50, 70 percent of what they have learned earlier because they have solved 100, 200, 300 problems on lead code but they have no time to revise them at all. And because often like solving problems here forth randomly doesn't make them any more confident in their DSA skills. And in middle of all this pressure, if you feel asking yourself, is 30 days even enough to prepare yourself in your DSA skills? The answer is yes, of course, it's possible. If you have done the prep properly, you can revise it in a very structured way. But it is only possible if you forget about the quantity part of it and focus on a proper strategy. In this video, I will give you a 30 days DSA revision plan. It is based on the real placement prep that we have done even inside AlgoZenith related to the questions, the DSA practice, grind 75, mock interviews, and tons of contests. Let's begin. We will start week by week. I'll give you a four week plan which you can use. So 28 days essentially. And we'll go week by week and understand what can you do in that particular week. Let's start with week one. In the first week, you should try to get your DSA skills back to the level where it was. If not that much, at least confident enough on simpler problems. But these can be simpler but important ones. So what are the topics that you need to cover? You need to cover arrays, strings, brute force and recursion, sliding window, stacks, queues, lot of questions related to things like prefix sum also come here and there. So these kind of topics you can revise and this will help you to get your basic implementation back to the level they were earlier when you were doing DSA as well as it will get you solve some of the important questions that are asked in standard companies. So what can be some of the action items? Go back to your old notes, go back to the bookmark problems, have a look at what you have solved and try to solve few more problems that you might have skipped then. Do two to three problems daily from sites like Grind75 or Mang.in and make sure that you are confident on those topics. Try every day you pick one problem and explain it out loud because now you are not only preparing your coding skills but also explanation skills. So in the last 30 days if you prepare your explanation skills very well, you would actually do well in the interviews. Don't chase new topics in this particular week. Try to reactivate your implementation and thinking skills back again. Next, let's talk about the week two. We will come to the most important topics that are asked in interviews in this particular week. What are the topics? Two pointers, pioneer research, link list, stack, queues, hash map, hash sets, hashing in general, all these kind of concepts. So what can you do in this particular week? Pick any platform, say lead code or anything, and then start solving two problems medium plus one problem easy maybe in each of these topics. Time yourself, okay? Don't spend too much time on every problem, maximum 25, 30, 35 minutes, then have a look at the idea and understand it, move to the next problem because we have to cover a lot of things in this revision phase. Note the common type of patterns or problems that come very, very often, like Dutch flag problem, uh, say pointers problems, two sums and it's three sum, four sum variations, all these kind of things. Make sure that you have a look at these things. By the time you reach to the week three, Make sure that you now start doing the advanced topics that are more important for both OAs as well as for interviews. I think many of the big companies that you'd be sitting for actually ask these topics. What are they? Graph, greedy, dynamic programming, and things related to binary search tree or binary trees basically, right? These four topics are very, very crucial and you have to spend time on this. Even if it takes more than a little week, it's fine. Every two days, take one topic and try to grind it very well, solve three, four medium problems, one hard problem, one easy problem, and try to understand the pat like patterns that are there in the questions, like get comfortable with DFS, BFS, get comfortable with frameworks of DP. By the way, if you don't have an idea about frameworks of DP, check out the playlist of DP on my channel. It's very, very awesome resource that you can use and cover a lot of problems of DP in short time. You can go into a little bit of revision mode, go through the problems that you had solved earlier and look at their codes to understand because I understand that in graph DP there would be a lot of problems that you had practiced probably. Start seeing common forms in these kind of problems because you cannot really go through everything in these topics in the short amount of time. DFS, BFS, standard topological ordering and short, shortest path problems. These are very, very common in graph. Uh, look, in terms of uh, DP, I have talked in my framework videos, do watch the DP workshop. 
but in that like the five forms that are there mostly coefficients are common from there itself one form one two four these are very very common so these things will help you solve a lot of questions in short amount of time in the final week our target is to polish everything that we have done in the last three weeks and try to give some contest so that we build that time temperament you can go ahead and go to mang.in give company wise coding test these tests are actually the real ways of these companies that have appeared in the last year. Make sure to give a lot of mock interviews because I feel mock interviews gets you into the flow of explaining your problems. Try to get some seniors or your batches and uh, try to have two to three mock interviews. Try to look at your weakest topics that you feel you are not confident on and try to revisit those three topics. Maybe rank the top three and do them. Try to build a little bit of speed. Try to solve two problems in 60 minutes because Usually you have that much of time in an interview and you have to solve questions in that much time. Every day, please explain your logic out loud because that is what you have to do in your interviews. Bonus, what else do you need to do? In the last seven days, I think DSA is not enough. I think you are in that phase where uh, other things are also important and are left and maybe you want to do that. So I think last seven days, if you do like DSA in like two, three, three hours daily, it's fine. Uh, for the rest of the time, you should spend on other things like development projects that you have built. Try to publish it up on uh, like hosted basically and have the URL in your resume. Try to prepare what you have done in that in case you have not built it or built it but you have forgotten the code because there are interviews where they like ask you to open the code and actually make the changes, right? Revise basic notes of OS, DBMS and computer network. If you don't know, there are like really awesome notes of this available on mang.in for free and you can actually access them and get through the whole of revision of these subjects. Make sure to do the HR round prep. I cannot stress how many people get rejected in HR rounds. Please prepare answers for what is your strength, what is your weakness, good answers and uh, simply as simple as introduce yourself. These, ans these questions are common in every interview. Please prepare them very well. And that was your 30 day plan for top companies in your placements. If you have practiced DSA before, this plan will help you to revise all of those things in a very short amount of time really well. Do follow it. The key in fact is not to be random but be consistent in the last 30 days. That's what gets you the result. Make your calendar, follow your calendar, try to keep bookings of slot, like these three hours I'll study, these three hours I'll study, and that will help you be in routine so that you can actually perform in the real interviews. Most students are very like random in their preparation strategy and that's why they waste a lot of time. They keep hopping from one subject to other, not knowing what they have completed or what they have to complete. So stop overthinking and start executing. All the best, you have got it, okay? Make sure to like, share and subscribe this particular channel for more such placement tips. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.